新年快乐，新年快乐，새해복많이받으세요，즉문남매 ，Happy Lunar New Year。What a great excuse to try a rice scrub and mask. Ready to get your carbs on? On your face, I mean. Get a bag of rice. White, brown, whatever. I don't discriminate. You're going to need your bowl and half a cup of rice. I'm going to show you how to make a basic rice scrub. You can either use the good old-fashioned mortar and pestle, or the trusty old rolling pin, or my personal fave, the blender. What can I say? I'm all about efficiency. Let's start rolling. It might take a while, but it'll get the job done. If you have a mortar and pestle, just start grinding away. Grind up the rice until the grains are smaller and smaller, as if you're making rice flour. But don't make it too powdery. We still need small rounded grains that will act like exfoliating beads, something like this. And if you're like me and you love instant gratification, a blender will do the job faster. Just fill her up. As I always say, blend away. Rice has a lot of nutrients that your skin can really benefit from. This is going to be your scrub. For a simple rice scrub, just use it alone. Activate it with water and exfoliate your skin. A lot of white rice has been refined, so if you want more added benefits, use organic brown rice. It's packed with more nutrients like vitamin E. Now I'll show you how to make a skin brightening scrub. All you need is a lemon, Mother Nature's skin brightener. Cut the lemon in half, and you just need one side for today. Save the other half for the next use. So you guessed it. Just dip the lemon half in the rice scrub, and here you have it. You can scrub it on your body to brighten your skin and rinse off in the shower. Or you can exfoliate your face to brighten your complexion. For those who are battling acne, you just need a little bit of honey in your life. Pour the rice on the honey and mix it in. Now your scrub is ready. This is great for the face and body, and I recommend using this in your shower. Honey has a lot of healing properties. It's an antibiotic. Now let me show you how to make a rice mask. I have here rice paper wrappers, or in Vietnamese, ban chang. These are edible Vietnamese rice papers. They're pretty sturdy and flexible. My mother and I used to make spring rolls together. Delicious and healthy. Get your scissors ready. We're basically going to cut out a face shape. The first piece will be your forehead. Make a cut here and there. Snippity snip. And here we have the piece for the forehead. So now you're left with this. Just cut it in half. And make two cuts here and here. And now we have two pieces for your cheeks. Here's what we have so far: a jacked-up pokeball. If you want to take the extra time to trim each piece so that it fits your face perfectly, I say go for it. When the mask is custom tailored for your face, it's going to feel so much more comfortable. Cutting this piece out so that it fits right under my mouth and not over it. Here it is, the complete rice mask. Now just take out a dish pan or bowl, and if you want to get a little fancy schmancy, add green tea to the mix. Pour the warm water in your pan or bowl, and again, the green tea is optional. Green tea contains antioxidants, giving your skin a boost of radiance. All right, now very quickly, place your mask in the water. Thirty seconds is all you need. The rice paper will be soft and stretchy, but don't be fooled. It's still strong, but gentle enough for the skin. Now it's time to start placing each piece on your face. I'm going to start with my cheeks. Get the other side too. Ooh, perfect fit. Now for the forehead. This piece goes on the lower part of the face. Make sure it's nice and snug. Last piece is for the nose, and there you have it. This mask has a natural cooling sensation, so it's gonna feel really good. So just wait around 10 to 15 minutes until the cooling sensation is gone. It's dry and ready to be peeled off. Ta-da! Best part? It's biodegradable. And if you want to be mean, dare someone to eat it. <laughs> just kidding. Let's give our skin more love this year. This. 
is the New Year's special, actually. This is Korean barbecue beef burger. Actually, was sold on the food truck on our show. Korean and barbecue. Backed by popular demand. These little suckers right here are going very well, so. Korean barbecue beef burgers. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna start eating. Sehebok mani padu seo. Mmm. Cut! Happy Lunar New Year. Good luck. My blog at michellefawn.com And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Love ya!